Hello. Hello. Hello, uh, Chikumola. Am I yes. pronouncing your uh, name correct? Yes. yes. And, and I'm sorry uh, with uh, the technical problem. Understood. I don't know what happened with the link, but uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Thanks. Thanks for joining. And uh, uh, we are uh, live right now. And uh, if you are fine, we can start. Yes. Yes. Okay. So welcome once again to all the viewers. And uh, this is another exciting episode of the Metabolic Health Conference, where we explore various health topics that impact and transform our lives for the better. I'm your host, Certified Nutritionist. And today we have a special guest with us, Professor Dr. Chikumola Siruza, a renowned expert in the field of endocrinology and diabetes. Welcome once again, Doctor. Thank you very much. So uh, I would like to provide a brief introduction about you. So Professor Dr. Kekamola is an internist, diabetes, and endocrino uh, diabetes and en endocrinologist practicing at Bukau University Hospital, Democratic, at Repo Democratic Republic of Congo. His main research topics include epidemiology of diabetes and metabolic diseases. He has particular interest in diabetes remission and obesity management. Uh, doctor, uh, please tell us about your journey into low carb and uh, your studies on uh, diabetes, any personal success stories which drew you towards low carb as a uh, therapy or, uh, or a solution for uh, type 2 diabetes. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me in this session. First, I have just to uh, to present a quick history of how I came into uh, low carb. Uh, when I was uh, studying my uh, endocrinology, the time that time uh, there is a new medicine that uh, arrived in in the field of, of diabetology. It was the ancrosine uh, medicine, like it was in fact now. Uh, I was very happy to to receive this as uh, we we could be able to see people was losing weight and and then we was expecting to to observe a good control with this medicine. But I was uh, very disappointed with because as as still at that time seeing people uh, not having a good uh, control of their diabetes. And then I remember I used to to treat the um, women who are developing diabetes uh, during the pregnancy by low carb. I used to tell them to not uh, eating uh, very high uh, high concentrated uh, foods in 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 sugar. And then with this, I was thinking about how we can be able to put people into remission without having medicine, as I saw it in, in um, uh, women who are in pregnant. And then in my, uh, uh, my, practi my practice, uh, I met some, someone, Dr. Kavan, who wrote a very beautiful book, Reverse Your Diabetes. I read his book, and from that, I start uh, proposing a uh, low cap for my patient. I have many patients uh, who with this um, uh, method have been able to drop down all medicine. I have even uh, a woman who was uh, looking for a baby. She was uh, obese and with diabetes. With low carb, she uh, put her into remission without medicine. She lose she lose many uh, weight kilograms, and she had has been able to to have a baby. This is I'm um, very happy uh, with the, this history. I have another one who was for many years on insulin. He was obese as well, and then I proposed him low carb, and now he is never using and he is. No, he's, he's under control without any medicine now. So uh, this is um, a quick history of low carb, what I'm using in Congo. 
But what I have to say, it is as I know how much um, having medicine in, in Congo is very, very expensive for patients. Uh, diabetes cure is very, very expensive for patients. I think low carb, it is a really a very, a very good opportunity for diabetes in Africa. Thank you. It's, it's really uh, uh, a breath of fresh air. Uh, whoever is listening, that uh, whoever is suffering from diabetes, this uh, success story is going to really uh, inspire a lot of people to consider at least a low-carb way of eating as a, uh, as, a, as a method to deal with the type 2 diabetes and put it into remission. Thanks for sharing yes. this. And uh, you have published a lot of uh, research papers. Uh, for viewers, whoever is looking for the research papers are available in ResearchGate portal. Uh, so, coming to your research paper on the prevalence of diabetes, particularly in DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, and overall Africa, uh, is there any uh, difference that you find uh, between uh, the, uh, the the diabetes prevalence and uh, causage? And I'm going to link one more uh, aspect, which generally is in the uh, discussion when we talk about diabetes. It is uh, depending on genetics. Can you please throw uh, light on that? Yes, thank you. Uh, during my PhD, I was looking uh, for the link to, uh, be between type 2 diabetes and genetic uh, threats in, in Africa. Uh, first, I have first to, to say that we, we, we can see some difference between the clinical uh, future in, of diabetes in Africa and, and in comparison of what I saw in, in Europe. We have a, a, a kind of diabetes which is very common in Africa called the ketosis prone type 2 diabetes, which, which is very, very, um, I, I didn't see it in, in Europe. This kind of type 2 diabetes is, it's look like a type 1 uh, where when people are having acute complication and after this acute complication, it is like a type a type to diabetes and these people can be can be put into remission they can have several years without taking medicine with a good control this is the first difference the second one it is diabetes in africa uh, type 2 diabetes occur very early in people around uh, they are developing diabetes around 30 years that's the difference i can i can see between type 2 diabetes in africa and europe but uh Talking about genetic, uh, I try to look on what could be uh, the, I mean, the link between some genetic traits uh, located in Africa and diabetes. I didn't, uh, I couldn't be able to find a link between this uh, and 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 diabetes. The one I work on it was the fur protein. It is a kind of um, hemochromatosis that is common in Africa. But okay. I didn't find the link between this and type 2 diabetes. There is another colleague in South Africa who uh, search, who look on um, the traits of, look the character, characterize of a genetic trait in Europe. He looked on this in Africa. He didn't find this, uh, the, the link, the, the, the genetic traits found in Europe and in Africa didn't find them. So what I, I'm telling it is what we, we are seeing it is that diabetes is more common in in town than in, in village in Africa. And this uh, may bring me to, to conclude that diabetes it is more a lifestyle problem than a genetic problem is uh, people living in the town in Africa adopted a new way of, of living. Uh, I'm, I'm, say, I'm, I'm talking about uh, westernization of lifestyle in Africa. And this can, I think this is the big uh, uh, 
risk factor to develop type 2 diabetes in Africa more than genetic threat. Got it. So, uh, so when you say it is a lifestyle disease, so I believe what you are also saying this is, uh, and also when you said whatever uh, right now you shared with us, that a proper way of eating can actually put it in remission. So actually it is in our control whether we want to be diabetic or not. Is it so? Is that what you are saying? Yes, I'm saying that uh, if we can be able to uh, bring people to know how to choose their food, uh, they, we can be able to put them into remission. And this, um, I'm, I'm saying it with my, 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 my patients. Also, uh, I, I say that in, in Africa, uh, diabetes is very common in, in towns and in village. In villages and this is clear because we have some study that compare diabetes in towns and in village is very common in town and in village and we know that people living in big cities in africa are have adopted a new uh, alimentation they are eating processed food uh, as i can give just an example in in, in kinshasa foods that people are eating in Kinshasa are coming from Brazil, from USA, from Europe. And that's why we have a, a very, very high prevalence of diabetes in Africa. So I think if we can be able to teach, to bring people to eating very well, we can be able to put diabetes into remission. So uh, now the next question is when we talked about there is no clear, according to your research and whatever uh, studies that you have referred and done. There is no clear cut association between genetics and diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And also, it can be easily addressed with the proper eating and that to a low carb method, method of eating. Um, now, I would like to touch upon what are the top three things that people can do to prevent or reverse or we can say remission, remit, remit, uh, remiss diabetes through low carb nutrition. And what are the key, uh, yeah, what, what, can you please share that? Yes, uh, I have just to give a precision. I think they could be a, a genetic predisposition. I didn't find it, but I think the more uh, risk factors, it is uh, the lifestyle. And then uh, talking about, uh, um, uh, low carb. Now, uh, if I look at what we have been uh, eating in Africa and exactly in the Greek Lake uh, region, I'm, I'm talking about Rwanda, Burundi, the eastern part of Congo, and 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 Kenya, and I can focus on Maasai population. We know that this this population have the very low uh, prevalence of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, of cholesterol and hypertension. I'm sorry, I'm, end, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Maasai population, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry, yeah, please continue. Yeah, yeah. We know that they have the very low uh, prevalence of type 2 diabetes, of uh, cholesterol, high cholesterol, and also uh, hypertension. But uh, they used to eat uh, um, um, I mean, uh, um, steak and also milk. This is the traditional um, uh, food for this population, and this is the 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 uh, the traditional food for the Great Lake population. Um, I'm talking about Rwanda, Burundi, and South Kivu. So I think if we can be able to bring these people to what they have been eating one i mean one century ago we can be able to put them into remission and even in kinshasa we can uh, people used to eat what they call kwanga kwanga it is a kind of bread but uh, that has been made from from cassava and this have have not uh, uh, used uh, through any trans transformation 
we can find in these many fibers and that were, and and the um, glycemia index is very low for this. Uh, that way, I think if we can be able to bring people to eat what when what they have been, I mean, one century ago, what this population have been eating, we can be able to put that type of diabetes in in in, uh, in remission. Okay, so uh, the the three things which I uh, understood is uh, remove or as much as possible cut down or eliminate processed food. Yes, and uh, stick to how people ate hundred years ago before processed food came. Yeah, uh, before this processed food came, we that that I was saying uh, I gave the example of Maasai they used to eat steak and 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 milk and and even many people in uh, Africa region here in Kinshasa in western western Africa I mean central Africa western we have uh, um, some uh, fishes uh, also uh, some animal like antelope and and many other animals so I think if we remove from our date uh, processed food that I know are very high in in carbohydrates, we can be able to control type two diabetes. If we remove we, we remove ver the high carbohydrate in our food, we can be able to control type two diabetes and put it into remission. Okay, and. Uh, uh... I, I'm not sure about how they it is perceived uh, in uh, Africa, but uh, overall, uh, people have a tendency to when when I say low carb uh, diet, when you uh, say low carb diet, how is the adoption there? Uh, because uh, uh, people would like to hear from you uh, whether low carb way of eating or low carb diet or ketogenic diet even. Is a is a fat diet because that opinion also uh, uh, is there. So, what is your? Uh, uh, can you please throw some light on that? Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm trying to not uh, talking to patients about ketogenic uh, diet to tell to tell that name because uh, um, sometimes. Uh, with the media, they can have some information that are not correct about this. I'm just telling them to try to eat uh, naturally. I'm try to put them to eat naturally, and I know that this is a low carb. Naturally, we 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 are eating low carb fish, um, uh, steak, and vegetables. Naturally, they are low carb. Even if I can, uh, I can. Uh, Try to to talk about uh, cereals and uh, and even the natural cereals, they are low carb because they have an index glycemic index very which is very low in comparison in to the transform transformed food. So what I'm talking to patients to try to let them find the natural food and they will be in low carb as as natural food most of them they are low in 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 in, in carbohydrate understood and uh, there are many in our audience who will be parents and also now it is uh, we are seeing uh, a lot of diabetes if not diabetes uh, in children, if not diabetes, some metabolic disorders in children. And uh, yeah. what are some of the key things uh, that they could do uh, for children? Because usually there is a, a perception that children can eat anything. They can eat carbohydrates. They can take a little bit more carbohydrates. That I'm not sure about. Uh, this is a kind of an Indian context of questioning, but uh, I'm not sure about how it is in. Uh, uh, in Congo, but uh, this is a question which comes up uh, in a uh, in a larger uh, extent. So for children, and yeah, how, how do yes, we? Uh, 
Yeah, it is exactly the same. And uh, I have just to press that uh, in normally uh, for parents, sometimes having a a a child a child who who is obese, it's uh in the population it's it's a good uh, I mean it's like I have money and my child have to be obeyed. Uh, that, uh, that I'm observing. Uh, and in that sense, trying to explain to uh, parents that they have to control what their children are eating, it's sometimes very complicated. And also in the context of HIV, puts people to lose weight, even child, it's sometimes we have to, to take time to dis discussing with them, uh, to, to let them understand that they are exposing their, ch their children. And how this, these children are getting obese, it is because of what they are taking, uh, many carbohydrates in their food, uh, many juices, many uh, chocolates, People who are having money, they're looking for most of the time uh, food that are high in carbohydrate. And it looks very nice to be obeyed, to have children that who is obese. And I have to manage this discussing with patients to put them to understand. I have some children that who developed type 2 diabetes uh, around 21, 17, and I'm discussing i'm trying to explain to other other parents that these two kids develop a type 2 diabetes according to what they are, because of what they have been eating and then i'm using that to explain to other parents that it's very very uh, harmful to put to let people, their children eating um, many many times high food that are high in carbohydrates that's that's uh, really uh, interesting uh, because what you said is at the beginning, the parents who think that if their children is a little bit uh, uh, bulky, they, it is a sign of prosperity. You link to money, yes. the, the mentality. That's where they are exactly. yeah. trying to uh, uh, educate people on that aspect. Understood. Yes, really, yeah. very, very interesting point, and it's it's going to be really useful for the listeners as well. Right. And so, Prasanna, yeah. so I will have to we are, the, the live stream is end by eight forty five. So we'll have to really close the session now. So, uh, Doctor Sikomara, thank you very much for joining us and sharing your wisdom for Congo, and we so appreciate. And uh, we are going to have a little more extended session later on. Thank you very much. And I'm so, sorry so, for the technique issue that I had. No issue, no issue. Thank you. I think we we, we anticipate thank something you. on the other will happen. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you. I will I will invite I'll invite Ira Sahai Anup Singh. Anup. So as soon as Dr. Dr. Roshni joins, please get Roshni in and you can take Prasanna out. Anup Singh is there. Yeah. So if, if Neeta and Balaji is there, please get Neeta and Balaji because they have just joined. Anup, get Anup in, Neeta and Balaji. Get in Balaji and Neeta, both have joined. So you can take Prasanna up, we'll take Prasanna down later. Get Balaji Srinivasan in, yeah. So Neeta, this is a, we are coming to the close of the session. I think there are just a few minutes and we especially wanted to, to thank you because we have been hosting this three days massive marathon 12 hour session from Taj Siddhadi Goa. And, and this is this is such a wonderful, wonderful hotel where we are in. And uh, we have been served with low carb 
keto carnivore food for three days and i think this is this is the best thing that can happen to us which we had not foreseen initially but then you had come in and and this was really really nice and i think neeta first of all i wanted to thank you and i want to thank chef balaji so balaji is here balaji just two two minutes unmute balaji yeah balaji thank you very much for all those uh, all those keto foods keto snacks and for those dosa uttapas and keto rotis which were served as amazing amazing and this is going to be our permanent fix for whenever we have physical conference we are going to come here two words from balaji dr roshni is also here i want to get dr roshni can you get roshni also inside yeah. hello balaji. Uh, yeah yeah will uh, dr roshni will just have two word from balaji and finish of balaji you want to say something i think there's a connection issue ashi can you hear me no i can hear you but balaji can yeah chef chef you cannot be heard okay can you hear me now yeah 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 okay. chef two words two lines okay so uh, so first of all thank you very much for the opportunity sir and uh, i must say one thing for sure is that i got a lot of insights from neeta ma'am right from the beginning uh, it's been almost a year and a half and uh, she's been constantly uh, you know pursuing this thing of the of the keto thing and it just made life very easy when when all of you came on board because i was al already well uh, coached by neeta ma'am and uh, a very important thing is i think sir uh, the kind of support that we get from all of you all and uh, you know because of this what happens is a lot of chefs are very open to uh you know looking at these kind of options because generally what happens is you know when they look at vegetarian options they stick to a paneer and uh, i think uh, a lot of things like the cauliflower pizza and all the all these things really brought out a lot of uh, excitement as a chef from me as well so i would say rather th rather than you thanking me i would say thank you thank you all thank you thank you thank you chef balaji thank you and now uh, can you unmute dr roshni can you can you take in dr roshni and, and unmute her yes hi can you hear me yeah yeah dr roshni welcome thank you very much we wanted you in the closing session a couple of words from you thank you so much shashi i think the signal is a little bad for me i'm not sure if you can hear me can you hear me yeah yeah we can hear you Okay so I apologize I'm uh, joining from the car today because we're at a family event so I said I'll step out and take this meeting from the car but I wanted to first of all say hats off to Shashi Anup and the entire metabolic health india team the d life team all of you all have been working behind the scenes for what looks like it looks like you've pulled off a conference uh, you know but I can tell that you've actually been working on this for years and this is a dream child that anup and shashi probably thought of maybe 5 or 6 years ago and what you have pulled off in these 3 days getting all of the best cuz in the world we'll just we'll just wait there's a signal issue there's a signal issue If she joins, can you get uh, Doctor Roshni? Am I back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are back. You are back. So please, please spotlight Doctor Roshni. Okay, okay. I'm hearing partially what you are saying, but I'll continue. What I was saying is, although it looks like effortless on the outside of it, this has been a smooth and seamless. No hitches, no glitches. Speakers from around the world, top talent of metabolic health and low carb around the globe, have joined for this cause. selflessly because of the program that you and anu shashi and anu and d life and metabolic health india you have put together so hats off we need more of this we need much more of this and keep it going let's start this revolution let's change metabolic health future for india in the next generation let's do that together thank you thank you dr roshni thank you in spite of a busy schedule you can come and have a word thank you very much thank you i think we just have 2 minutes thanks for having me Thank you, thank you, Nita. Two words from you, please. 
Yes, uh, good evening to everybody. And uh, in fact, what I'm seeing on my screen are all my favorites here and, and the heroes, uh, Anup and uh, Sashi. Thank you so much. Uh, Ira, hats off to what you have uh, done for the last three days. And uh, Dr. Roshni, of course, is one of my favorites for uh, the longest time. And Chef Balaji, you have made it uh, perfect for, uh, you know, the, the founding team who was here and the back-end team who made this entire event possible. I am a D-Life member uh, myself, a, a very new entrant into the community. And uh, it gives me so much pride to be associated with uh, all the experts sitting on this, uh, on this on the, on the panel here and who have made this possible. Immense learning and knowledge and if if I I'm only going back absorbing and like a sponge taking so much out of uh, or out of these sessions, and uh, Sashi Anup and Ira and the team here, I would like to be of support in the times to come as much as I can. Please count uh, us in, and uh, I think Tat Sadadigoa is going to be one of the first hotels to be catering to low carb and uh, keto way of eating and i think that's going to be a very very big uh, uh, big plus for us in our banner for marketing as well so thank you once thank again you. for the fabulous thank work. you thanks thanks and, and 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 i want everyone to come in i think it is i don't know whether live stream is getting over or not please get everyone in please unmute everyone yeah, whatever yeah. i want the screen to be filled so that we back end please take a screen or get portion in get uh, Akshay in and get uh, Sandesh in, all of you. And whatever, who are the Yogesh? Get everyone in, not one person. Sir, actually, uh, maximum nine person can be in uh, Spotlight. So I have done the gallery view. Everyone can be seen now. Achha, gallery view, okay. Let me take yeah. the haan, gallery view. Okay. So who are haan, How do we see it in the gallery view? Achha, haan, everybody on here. the top, right? So. Yeah, I yeah, got it, got it. So please keep taking a screenshot. I think the live stream is still on. So thank you very much, entire team. See, this was a dream of me. This was a dream of me and Anu, but I think this would not have been fulfilled without the support of entire team. This is a massive session and I don't know whether world over this has such happened that 12 hour session on three days, getting the best brains out from the world and getting doctors from across the nations, across the countries. So 15 flags are flying and I'm so happy. Anup and Ira, two, two words. Yeah, I think Shashi, we have pulled out uh, of a great feat. And as everybody said, it was impossible to get the best brains on one common platform. I think it speaks a lot about our credibility. And of course, congratulations to everybody who put in so much of hard work. And Nita, you've kept in the spirit of uh, our, our low-carb conference by serving us, you know, low-carb meals and everything. It is so in line with what we stand for and uh, the conference itself. Thank you, everybody, everybody who put their best out there. And I think we have created a benchmark that will be difficult uh, for others to meet in a long, long time. We will break our own, uh, you know, benchmark and raise the bar higher in future. Anu, Anu over to you. Please connect, connect. We cannot hear you. <laughs> Nira, you both have covered everything that had to be said. Now, one thing that I would like to add is, you know, uh, 20 hosts and there was one super host who I would like to thank and that is Dita. Right. No, not it was the, brilliant. It's it was the brilliant least, it's the least I could do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And uh, that's all I have to say. Yeah, so so I want to specially thank Akshay. The kind of brilliant promo work he has done. It is unmatched and unparalleled. Let me tell you that he has done, he has he stayed awake till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the night to specially work for this. It is just unimaginable. Thank you. And now I want to I want to call the the partners, Imajika, Himan, Himanshu, Arti, and I don't know who all are there. Please. Can you can you can you open your screen? This would not have been Himanshu. Nice to see you. Is Arti there? Uh, no, no, sir. Actually, she is not here. Who all are there to... from Imagica? 
Uh, Not able to I'm get my video on. It's, uh, it's weekend, so that uh, I am the okay. only one who is working. Wow, very good. So you put on the other guys also, okay, Prajakta and like. Why don't you put my video on? Sorry, what? Can you open? Acha Himanshu, can you just yeah. un unmute and open for everyone? Everyone can, sir. I have, I have given the rights to everyone. Everyone Fine, can. Great great. Oh, so my Himanshu, video is not coming. On, my video, I am not able to get. Thank you. you can you can join again. So Himanshu, first of all, officially, I want to thank you. This is this is such a beautiful thing you are done. It is unimaginable. We always I thought was. that whether you guys can manage this twelve hour into three days, but it is flawless, glitchless. Absolutely, everything went on time. Everything. It is just mind boggling. Without your support, this would not have happened. I am so happy. You are our fixed partner for all the events, events henceforward. My pleasure, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank and, you for and, trusting us. Thank you very much, sir. And Imanchu, I want to thank my colleague Anish, Anish has recommended you. And I'll take this opportunity to thank Anish also. Please tell Anish that I've thanked him because he is the one who has recommended you finally. The universe actually has conspired. And let me tell you. This was what Dr. Roshni told me. I just spoke to her 10 minutes back. She told that what you guys have done is something good. And from spiritual point of view, she also said the same thing that probably everything came together. And what she meant to say, the universe has conspired to get this event together. And Himanshu, Imajika team came in the last moment and everything is smooth and fine. And the all the team here in Goa specifically, Sandesh, Poshni, all this, it would not have been possible. The kind of back-end work they have done sitting there. Excellent coordination. Poshni has co coordinated for all the meals. Sitting at the back-end, guest coming in at the waiting room, at the lounge. Everything is just fine. And to all the super hosts, everyone, all the super hosts, it is unimaginable. The, the kind of coordination you have done and the kind of timeline you have maintained is very excellent. It is. Anyone wants to say anything, please. I don't want to hog the whole time. We still have 10 minutes, maybe. Anyone who wants to visit Poshni? You can unmute. I'll go first. Anyone? First come, first served. So, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Please, please. No corporate talk. Just talk. Yeah. yeah. So, whatever we have done, uh, it is so satisfactory. And... Uh, it is uh, much more to come. This is something uh, people might think that it's small. It is not at all small. It is uh, going to explode exponentially in a better way and uh, create a ripple effect of health in the country. Thank so you. Uh, I'm really, really very satisfied and uh, to be part of such an elite group of committed individuals. Thank you. So all of us, all of us here, one, one line, please, that the time will end. So, so, Sashi, I'll, I'll go next. I mean, this let, let Poshni talk because she was here in the okay. heat of thing. Please, Poshni. Yeah. I think it's just been a really, really phenomenal uh, conference. It, it took a lot from everybody to put it together and everybody played a unique role that added value to the conference. So I thank everybody. Uh, one special mention I'd like to add is Radha. Radha Ayengar. <laughs> Shashi is the... Uh, she, I think she's not a three. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> most yeah. important uh so yeah it's it has been very special to have all of us all of us working from wherever we are yeah poshni special thanks to you because of you we discovered a gem called dakshay <laughs> because of you otherwise it would have been very difficult for us the kind of promo material he has done akshay please talk two lines don't be shy yeah, I mean, yeah, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to be a part of this uh, mega conference. And absolutely, you know, as Poshni said, it was a phenomenal uh, conference. And I know everyone has worked. It's not only me, you know, being there, you know, everyone from behind, you know, uh, even the Poshni used to be with me uh, during this uh, you know, whole process. And, and I appreciate everybody. And I know this is going to be a great. And thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sandesh. I would just say, yeah, you are muted, Sandesh. You are muted, Sandesh. Sandesh. 
uh, being in the back room here really enjoyed it and i think there's so much peer learning that was there so thank you so much thanks to shashi anup for giving everybody the yeah. opportunity thanks sira for yeah. hosting us thank you Pleasure. so so uh, before handing over to yogesh uh, uh, one minute that i want to thank you five guys you gave me a real surprise i never thought you guys will pop in and i <laughs> now in retrospect if i think that you know you guys have plotted behind my back with nita and suddenly you came and i think that has worked really well and i think henceforth we will we will have such planning it was just a sudden surprise and i am so happy that the whole thing is again I, the universe has conspired is what i'll say yogesh yeah so th- this this particular mhc right i mean will be regarded as a fable and uh, i believe most of the other entities like lokab usa lokab down under i think most of them will come to you you and anup as a role model i mean this that the kind of success i would say is like far bigger than what i think they have been doing amazing amazing stuff and all the best sashi anup and uh, everyone over here and believe me that while whatever we are dreamt from 2017 or what we started the work only from june june july august september october we finished off within strong timeline it just worked very well thank you thank you and before we go to others guruji arun kumar do line sirf arun kumar ka line my mother likes arun kumar because she heard arun kumar talk very loudly arun hmm. kumar your your mic is muted uska problem hai kabhi bhi arun kumar is muted yeah. Okay, 